The government has agreed to offer about 8% to pay off allowances owed members of the Health Service Workers Union. This is to prevent the more than 28,000 members from embarking on a nationwide strike. Chief Executive Officer of the Fair Wages and Salaries Commission, Dr. Edward Kwapong, spoke exclusively with our Labour correspondent Daniel Opoku in Accra. Leadership of the Health Services Workers Union demanded a review of their salary on the single spine pay policy. It also complained about expiration of its conditions of service and salary distortions between junior and senior staff. Of a major concern to the Health Services Workers Union, it is demand for market premium from 2012 to date. After deliberations, government has agreed to pay its market premium in the form of allowance. It agreed to offer about 8% to the union after negotiating with them. Chief Executive Officer of Fair Wages, Dr. Edward Kwapong, emphasized on commitment to grant the demand. I can foresee them talking about it. Then perhaps if you are granting a certain concessions, then it should, how it should take a retrospective effect. Pay as But I don't think government is in a position to do that because by the uh, Public Financial Management Act, mm -hmm. any expenditure in a particular year will have been provided for in the budget the budget preparation the previous year. So going back into the past now becomes difficult because it's regulated by law. On the issues of conditions of service and distortions of salary on the single spot pay policy, he indicated government decision to get those grievances addressed. The annual increment was a matter of uh, the software being used at the controller and accountant general's department. So they were going to work on the software to activate certain functions so that automatically annual increments will be granted. And then the non-implementation of aspects of the conditions of service related to allowances that uh, are paid at the, uh, the, the facility level. They insisted that the facilities were not paying and therefore they felt discriminated against. So we granted these concessions. Going into 2020, more agitations are expected to occur on the labor front. But the Fair Wage and Salaries Commission says it is pushed to deal with the demands of labor. There will be agitations, but I think we are in a position to, to talk to them. We realize that most of their leaders are very reasonable. The days of Choboe have come. Now they want to sit with you and reason with you and come to terms with you for the sake of Mother Ghana. So I don't think um, <laughs> there will be agitations, all right, but you'll be able to convince and persuade them so that together we move Ghana forward. The strike and will meet with Fairways and Salaries Commission at the National Labor Commission in February next year.